All right, welcome back. So, third time's a charm. <laughs> I've been uh, trying to get this tutorial done a few times now. Every time I run into some minor issues, so uh, I want this to be perfect. <laughs> so, this tutorial is going to be about uh, changing world details and deleting world details. Uh, my first tutorial in regards to Code Walk and Y Maps were how to basically add details, not so much deleting them. And there's a few rules that you basically have to stick by when it comes to deleting deleting stuff from the map. Um, there is certain objects you can delete and there are certain objects you cannot delete. And if you try to delete them, they will cause issues. Uh, basically, objects that have a child LOD linked to them, if you delete them, then suddenly it doesn't know where... like where that object is and it's going to cause issues and it's going to look like all sorts of fucked up. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to get around that issue and hopefully you won't be running into that issue. Um, but there's always an off chance that you might and maybe this will help you out, hopefully. So we're just going to jump into it. So for this tutorial, I will be showing or modifying what we have uh, what we call quick fix and no pixel. Uh, this is the lost MC compound. And I will just be changing basically this area over here, removing some details and moving some details around and adding some new details. As per usual, <clears throat> make sure you have enabled DLC and set it to the latest DLC. In this case, that's MP Heist, just so you're sure that you're making changes to the latest version of any Y map in the world. So we are going to hit T, so we get our top left menu. Going to click on New. And then we're going to enable our Selection tool and our Movement tool. So we're going to add these entities to our project. So I'm going to right click on this, click Add to Project. And right click on these details and Add to Project. If we run into something that is not, you know, uh, that we didn't add, it will just automatically add it to the list anyways. So, um, first things first, you need to keep in mind that there is things in the world that use what's called, uh, or it, it, I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I call it. It uses a world collision file. And what a world collision file does is that it adds details. Basically, this entire compound is made from a world collision file. The, the model itself does not have an embedded collision. This collision is in a world collision file that you would have to modify. I will be going back to that and how that works in another tutorial. But in this case, we will be keeping this in mind and we will be working around. So the way you can check for that is you can go to um, your options and then you can click on show collision meshes. So when we click on this, you can see these things here have a collision. So you can see this is basically what the collisions look like. <clears throat> so we can click a few things and move them around. I know as a fact that this container, this one right here, has a world collision file. So when I select it and I move it, the collision does not move. So you can see it, it stays in place. If I select like this car and move it, you can see the collision disappears. So in this case, we're going to work around that. You, you, it's a bit of a trial and error kind of thing. So you need to kind of check if there is some leftover um, collisions when you're done working on your, your thing. But the way you can check that is options, general, and then show collision meshes. So I know as a fact that this one has a world collision. So I'm going to be leaving that in place. These things, on the other hand, do not. So next thing you want to check is do these have a collision child or not a collision child sorry a um, a child LOD the way you can do this is in the max LOD up here you can change between orphan HD which is going to be showing basically what the map looks like to LOD or to HD which removes smaller details that in quotations should be deletable you are better off not deleting anything 
always. But in the off chance that you have to delete something or if you want to delete something, the details that disappear when you turn to HD should be deletable. So you can see when we switch between these two, these, de these details should be deletable. Uh, so if we go one step further to LOD, now we have the uh, LODs of these entities. So in this case, you can see that this container, the car, this container over here, the, um, the dumpster here, and then some other diesels over here, they have an LOD. So a child LOD more than likely. <clears throat> so what you want to do is for these details specifically, so for the car, you don't want to delete those ever. That will more than likely cause issues. So what we do is we just select it and we move it under the world. So as long as the bounding box, so the, the, the square doesn't show up, you should be fine. So we're just moving it under the world, moving this under the world. And the same one for this over here. This one in this case is a bit weird because Rockstar added an LOD in the Y map. You can see when I select it, it has the LOD. And I don't know why they did that, but the Rockstar. So now I'm selecting the, the actual container itself. You can see there is a leftover. This is an LOD that for some reason, when this container <laughs> ever moves, this, this thing is there. So we're going to just move this under the world and to do the same to this one. All right. So we're going to flip our max LOD to LOD and we're going to do the same things to these details. So for the car, moving this under the world for the container, moving this under the world. And for this dumpster here, you can see that the bounding box is bigger. So for some reason, this container is tied to these fences over here. So you can see when I move this around, the fences move as well. So just for the case of this, this is a small detail that probably won't be noticed, but we'll just leave that for now because we don't want this fence to be gone as well. So we can go to the next step, which is SLOD, and you can see these things kind of appear back. But that's because for this part, for these details, it's part of a bigger model and you would have to modify this model and remove these details in the model for it to look correct. And that's a way more advanced so i won't be going over that but you can see when i move this i'm moving a lot of smaller details and this is only really going to be visible if you are in like a helicopter and you look at this area so we're going to go back to our orphan hd and <clears throat> we're going to do what i suggest you never do and we're going to delete these these small details that we, if we flip between these two, you can see they disappear. So like I said, they should be deletable. So we're just gonna select these and we're gonna go ham on the delete button. All right, so we're deleting all of this trash and there we go, that should be good. I know there's some low LOD shit over here. Just gonna delete that as well. All right. So now this is deleted and we have a few files. You can see we have all of these. So what we want to do now, um, keep in mind, uh, you do not. So a rule that I've made for myself is when you want to add details, if you want to add new details, add them in a separate Y map. Don't update an existing Y map because a lot of times you have to create a new manifest. And if you create a new manifest for existing Y maps, there's a big chance that you might run into some issues. And these issues are basically the same as uh, deleting LODs and other shit like that. So just when you add details to something, create a new Y map just for adding details and leave the, uh, leave the old Y maps as they are. So in this case, we're going to take these Y maps we have here. And we're going to save them all. I'm going to save them in my Y map folder. We're just going to click save, 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 and then <coughs> save this project as Y map. And then we're going to close our project because Codewalker has a tendency to sometimes show something incorrect. I'm going to close that. 
and the details are still deleted fine so we're just going to open this code walker project back up and now you can see this is this is what i mean like this is what code walker is now showing showing that we are looking at an lod which in case we are not so if we delete remove 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 and remove i just save that so you can see code walker is being a bit sketched out right now so if we open a project open our y maps it might go back there we go now it's showing the correct thing so uh for now we're just going to leave these y maps uh but we're also going to create a new y map so we're going to create new y map that we're going to call uh qf quick fix details and for in this y map we're going to create a new entity so we have our our little egg here and we are going to add uh what do we want to add to this i don't really know what i want to add to this it's just going to be some small small things just to uh show this off so i'm going to take one of these gas tanks here change our uh, our egg to that rotate it a little bit so it fits and then move it next to the wall like so move it up a little bit there we go uh, i want to make a copy of that and then at the uh, rubber pile here rub pile add that there like so and obviously you would keep adding your details as per usual so on and so forth so we're going to save this y map we're going to click this y map specifically click on save y map we're going to rename it to qf details save that and then we want to create a manifest, but we don't want to have all of these parts in that manifest. So we're going to just, just close this project, save everything, create new, open, and then open our QF details Y map. Go to tools, manifest generator, generate and save manifest. Save it in the Y map folder and click on save. There we go. So now we have a Y uh, we have a um, a manifest for just this, the the details Y map. All right, so now we are pretty much ready to check this out. So let's just close all of this. Close Code Walker. Go into our interior details. This is the place we saved our stuff. So I'm gonna control. Actually, I'm just gonna copy this go into my server folder uh go into my fcfx resources tutorials and i'm just going to rename this to no i'm just going to keep it as white type just for easier i'm going to delete what i have in here and paste that in there so like i mentioned in the previous tutorial uh cfx did make some changes to how the uh, manifest file is named and what the manifest file contains. I will leave that in the description just so you have uh, have that info and the name. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to, if you still have the old manifest that still works, but they did change this around. <clears throat> so let's fire up the server. Uh, I also wanna make sure because I think I might have some changes to that area as well. So I'm just gonna, gonna go to my server config and just disable, I believe this one has it. So I'm just gonna comment that out and save that. All right, so let's fire up the server, start it up that, run that one.
let's hope it runs smooth ish there we go join local host The screen might be a bit laggy since I haven't set up OBS to be fully functional, unfortunately. All right, and then uh, F2. It's gonna be a little bit of lagginess. You just have to deal with it. And then we go to our quick fix parking lot. And all right so as you can see when we walk in all the details are missing oh we are missing the quick fix details and i know why i'm missing the quick fix details because i'm missing the one thing <sighs> that i always forget i forgot to calculate extents which is like the number one rule when you create a new y map calculate your extents so we're just going to do that right now I open up code walker i don't know why i keep forgetting to calculate extents it's literally the only thing you just have to remember to do or your shit won't show up <laughs> so quick fix details click on the y map itself calculate the flags and extents and just save it that's really all you need to do and then we close it back down and go to our resources Go to tutorials, white type, streaming, and then we take our uh, our quick face, quick fix details, and put that back in there. There you go. So even people like me who has been doing this for quite a while, I, I still forget to to do even the most basic task, which is <laughs> calculating extents. All right. So can we just disable and enable that and we're gonna go here local host and then let's try again see what happens All right, so. Oh, that's a bit too far. I want to go over there. So as you can see for the LOD part, if we, uh, if we zoom out here, move back a little bit. There is no LODs right now until we hit a certain point. Uh, I think there you can see in the in the distance you can see where the car is supposed to be but that's quite far so it's such a minor detail that it, it doesn't really matter when we get closer those lod's disappear so that's good so we're gonna just go down and you can see that the details are gone which they also were before and our quick fix details in the new y map are here so in this case, this one has a building collision, and so does the, the tires. So that is basically it. So you can see when we run around this area, there's no collision. But that is not the case with this, and that's why we left it. So there we go. That is how you delete details, or you don't actually delete details. That's how you move, move details underneath the ground. And... Uh, and don't have issues, <laughs> basically. All right, well, I'll be wrapping that one up there and I'll be seeing you in the next one.